Now you have another question. Uh, process. This is process we have from the sperm to the development. Now I think now we know the structure of the sperm. You see that they keep on repeating these questions over and over and over again. So what makes you not to not to to memorize it? What makes you to go to the exam when you don't know this? I don't see any reason for that. Acrosome, we have seen it nucleus, we have seen it uh, mitochondria or middle piece, we have seen it based on the question which is being asked. Most especially if the line is not clear. Identify A. We have seen it. Acrosome. Name the organelle found in large numbers. In part C, we have seen them. You see, it is mitochondria. Then they are saying give the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 only on the diagram uh, representing morula. What is a morula and what is a blastula or a blastocyte? Blastocyte or blastocyst, the way you pronounce it, as long as uh, remember. A morula is just a ball of cells. A ball of cells. This ball of cells has no hole at all. So you look for something which is like that. And then a blastula is a hollow ball of cells. It must have a hole. Is a hollow ball of cells. So you look for something which has the hole. So basically, morula is gonna be uh, number three. Uh, is gonna be number three, and then blastula is gonna be number one, and then they are saying uh, the structure that will implant in the nucleus. Which structure will implant? The moment you form a, a, a blastula, is gonna form finger-like projections, which you call chorionic villi which are used for implantation. So basically, it's going to be number one again. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be number one. Give the letter and the name of the part that will enter the ovum during fertilization. This is the second time they're asking the second same question. So it is B and it is what is new nucleus. Uh -huh. Then they are saying that name the type of cell division that will occur to produce the structure structure in three. So the moment you have a sperm, the moment you have uh, a sperm, yes, and then you have the ovum, nucleus, nucleus, this nucleus comes here, and then you have a nucleus of a sperm and the nucleus of the ovum, you form a zygote. A zygote. This zygote will start to undergo mitosis repeatedly to form a ball of cells. The ball of cells, which we call morula. The mor uh, morula will still continue undergoing mitosis and starts to uh, form the hole in the, uh, in the middle or in the center, and then forms a hollow ball of cells, which we call the blastula. The blastula will form the outer layer, which is going to call chorion, and the outer layer is going to form finger-like projection, which you call the chorionic viri, for implantation to take place. So, which process results in the multiplication of these cells? The process is called mitosis. Mitosis. So I've explained the development of the zygote until implantation. Let me repeat. Uh, yes, we have seen that uh, sperm fuses the ovum to form a ball of, uh, to form a zygote. You see, these are two nuclei, and they form uh, a zygote. A zygote you undergo mitosis to form a ball of cells. A ball of cells uh, will continue. This ball of cells we call it uh, morula. And then this ball of cells will undergo, continue undergoing mitosis to form a hollow ball of cells, which we call a uh, blastula, which forms the outer layer, we call it chorion. And then the chorion forms finger-like projection, which we call chorionic viri. Basically, this is one, this is two, this is three, it's one, it's two, it's three, and then it's four. Then, um, Ah, the process I was trying to explain is here. 
The diagram below represents the sequence of events that may take place inside the human female reproductive system. Identify the process taking place. Uh, two, 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 add two. Where's two? You see? Zygote from ball of cells, which you call morula. So diagram, oh, diagram one. Diagram one, you see sperm fusing with the uh, ovum. You form a form. The, the zygote. So the, the process is fertilization. State the type of cell division that takes place at two. Here it is mitosis. And then they are saying that name two functional extra embryonic membrane that are produced by structure C structure c they are saying functional it means that something which is functioning uh we have four extra embryonic membranes uh we have the chorion alontois uh um, yolk sac and then uh yolk sac and then amnion but in this case in humans we only have the chorion the chorion and the amnion Amnion, amnion, yes, the chorion and the amnion. We don't have the yolk sac, we don't have uh, because our egg doesn't have the yolk, yes, and then we don't have uh, the alontois because uh, uh, this excretion does not take place, uh, it, it does not deposit the wastes in there. Excretion will take place uh, in the placenta or through the placenta that's where the gases are being removed and then useful substances will come in so it takes place so the placenta will take the role of the alontois in case of the amniotic egg yes identify uh the stage of development indicated by okay a a what is happening there that is a zygote and then b it is a uh, Morula, and then C is a hollow ball of cells, which we call bulastula, yes, or blastocyst. Make sure that you write the correct spelling. Name the part of the female reproductive system where these events, where the events in the diagram above usually take place. Where do we find this? They occur in the fallopian tube because fertilization will take place uh, in the fallopian tube will take place in the fallopian tube if this is a simple structure yes yes uh fertilization will take place here and then these events will keep on moving until they reach here once they reach here then implantation will take place on the walls of the uh, endometrium but all these events we are seeing they are, they, they are taking place from the ovary they are moving they take place along the fallopian tube give the chromosome number uh, of cell at a chromosome number cell at a remember sperm is haploid ovum is haploid and then when they form they form 2n which is a diploid the remaining ones are diploids until they produce a sperm again so they're saying uh, give the chromosome number of the cell. They want the chromosome number and they say that this is a human uh, diagram. Therefore, if it is 23 here, 23 here, therefore this is going to be 46 chromosomes. But uh, this is for an individual who is normal. But here they're saying that if a child had Down syndrome, so remember, Down syndrome, you have an extra chromosome on chromosome number 23. So it means that it's going to be 46 plus an extra chromosome, which makes them to be 47. So the answer is going to be 47 because of the condition of Down syndrome of an extra chromosome on chromosome number 21. So we're just going to break and then just... Uh, few seconds we're gonna come back and then we explain the remaining uh, sub topics we still have a lot of questions which you have to exhaust so that by the time you write the exams you can do this you can do this any day tomorrow make sure that by tomorrow everything is ready at least you go to the exam and then you write 
I thank everybody who is watching. Uh, the next episode, we will talk about those people who are always uh, watching and commenting and asking questions. Uh, we thank you so much. At least you made us believe that what we are doing at least is helping some people outside there. And this gives us more energy to do more and more and hunt for more for you. Thank you very much for watching.